Hello, folks. Here we are in Maine today. Taking a nice trip along the East Coast. Exploring the country we live in, seeing how beautiful it is. And thinking how it would be if everyone had access to the beauty that exists here. The resources that exist here. We have some of the best technology in the world. We have some of the best medicine in the world. Medical techniques, but everybody can't afford those. Only the ones at the top of the food chain can afford most of these things, so we find ourselves always striving, always trying to find happiness and joy in a place where it's hard to do it. Now, a long time ago, when I was very young, most of the jobs that you worked, they had medical care and benefits that came along with them and pensions. It was just normal to think that if you got a job, a real job, you would have a pension and medical care and also you would be able to live. You wouldn't get such little money that you had to almost work two or three jobs or live on the street back then. And that wasn't long ago. But things have changed. And I think the changes come from fear, from selfishness, from anger, from people being manipulated through the various methodologies like the TV, the radio, even now YouTube, when we have these far-right individuals who want to pull us back into a time where slavery was legal and the suppression of women. They are even now crashing into YouTube trying to spread their poisonous message. But we're going to resist it because we are woke. Yes, we are woke, the woke crowd. And for us, there is no retreat no surrender we either win or nothing exists except what has to rise from the ashes we have come upon a very interesting time now many people have always been accommodating they have given way to thoughts and ideas especially ideas pushed by very aggressive people the problem is that throughout history we have learned that giving a little does not work. Such people who are full of hatred and anger can never get enough. They always want to take more and more. It's like they have this hungry feeding leech attached to them that keeps sucking and sucking and sucking and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Never full, never fulfilled, never fulfilled because of an emptiness that exists within their hearts, minds, and souls. And so, accommodation is no longer an option. We must fight the evil wherever it rises its head. Usually, they come into the institutions that we have created in order to help people. They sneak into various religions, spiritual groups, think tanks, all of those things that were designed in order to help people. And they act out so much and act so foolish that everyone gets sick and tired of them. People turn away from the institutions that our ancestors worked so hard to create. They leave it to the twisted and warped people. We can see this happening right now when it comes to politics. Look at the quality of people who are running for politics and political positions right now. Look at the Republican Party that has been taken over and the decent people have been forged out because they can't stand the sickness within the party anymore. And it's the same with the Democratic Party. People are moving to become independents because they are disgusted with those who are in those parties. This is a mistake. 
the mistake is that to work very hard to create an institution and to make it powerful and to make it be able to make changes and then to leave it to those who would use it to destroy just makes things worse. I guess this message is mostly saying stay woke, stay where you are and fight like the devil to keep that which is good in whatever group or institution you are in. Hold on to what is good. Do not leave. Do not get discouraged. Fight like the devil. And even if the institution blows up, you will know that you are not giving them a tool that will allow them to exploit and murder the hopes and dreams of millions and millions and millions of people. Now is our time. This place and in our hearts and minds is the place where dullness and sleepiness comes to die. And we are going to kill it with truth, light, love. And by keeping our eyes open, don't go back to sleep. Connect with that which is loving, kind. Connect with the beauty that surrounds you. Realize that the beauty that surrounds you is inside of you and yet you are actually part of that beauty. No, you're not a sin-filled piece of crap or pig or horrible thing trying to reach a point of redemption. You are the beauty, the light, and the hope. And your only struggle is to beat back the lies, the deceptions. The twisted values that have been pumped into each and every one of us from the time we were born and could not protect ourselves until now. Now we can protect ourselves. Now we are alive. Now we are weak. Now we are powerful. Don't let anyone deceive you or take away your power. Reclaim our own stories, the stories of grace and hope and of power and of love and majesty and let those false stories, the lies, be obliterated by the truth. Search the internet, find different sources, find sources of history. Look for the ones that the far right and the mainstream say are incorrect or don't say anything about. You, know, you can learn a lot about a group or a people or a civilization by looking at the shadow material. The shadow material can tell us what is at work within the institution. And lastly, my advice is to do like Bill Jones, the Unitarian minister who studied a lot of oppression and suppression in South Africa said, he said, if you look at the good in a system, that is when you can find out the evil that is working behind the scenes. What did he mean by that? He meant that when a person or a system said that they were doing good, they dropped their guard and they did whatever they wanted to in order to reach their goal. They committed all of the covert manipulative evil atrocities in the open thinking that it was for the good and when they drop that mask when they get rid of that false persona they show us all of the things that is working deeply within them so that can be an assignment for you. If you would like, until we have the next video, just look at the things that we as a nation and much of the world are doing to support and maintain good. And you will know what the institutional group is really like. Thanks for being with us today. I know this is a short video. We are on the road though looking at beauty, wisdom, and grace. 
finding time to take a break and to relax and to realize, you see, that there is beauty in the world and to realize that those people who want us to feel pain and suffering, who seem to gain energy from our suffering, we realize that they want us to think that everything is bad, everything is horrible, everything is painful. So we'll be discouraged and won't stand up, stand in the light of hope and faith and wisdom and the power that exists within us, the power that we are. Namaste, folks. Talk with you again soon. Remember to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get information when we put a new video, hit the bell and hit any comments or put in any comments you would like. Have a great afternoon, evening, night. Great everything. Thanks again for being with us today. Namaste.